वेलकम एवरी वन सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी विटिक ऑलिफिनेशन एंड पीटरसन ऑलिफिनेशन एज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट मैथड दैट आर यू जनरली यूज टू सिंथसाइज द एल्किस सो इन द विटिक ऑलिफिनेशन वी डील विद द फोस्फोनियम एलाइट और द फोस्फोनेट Asters and depending upon the kind of reagents or the reaction condition that we use, we either end up getting exclusively Z olefins or E olefins. Similarly, in the Peterson olefinase, what we do, we form the beta hydroxy silane, which then subjected to acid or under basic condition, proceeds via either anti or sil elimination to give us the exclusively Z or E olefin from the same diastereomer. So in this video, we are going to look at the Julia olefination in which the phenyl methyl sulfone, in fact, the metallated phenyl methyl sulfones are treated with aldehyde followed by, you know, converting the beta hydroxy sulfones into a good leaving group and then which is subjected to the reductive elimination using mud I mean sodium amalgam give us the exclusive Z olefin. So this is one of the beauty of this reaction is that we end up getting exclusively E product and these reactions are highly regioselective in nature. Okay. So now let's look into the mechanism of this particular reaction, especially the reductive elimination, which is pretty interesting. And what were the disadvantages of Julia olefination, which led to the formation of modified Julia olefination and then it led to the formation of further developments in the area of, I mean, uh, changes around this phenyl groups to form substrates which are highly, highly regioselective in nature. Okay, so let's look at those uh, reactions. So here in this case, what we have, okay, so this reaction involves, for, for example, this in turn can be easily synthesized if we have uh, a phenyl, SO2 CH3 in turn can be treated with n butyl lithium or LiHMDS or KHMDS sodium hydride. This in turn can be synthesized from the corresponding sulfide, which on treatment with MCPBA can give us the desired product. And this in turn can be synthesized from the thiolate carbanion on treatment with ethyl iodide. Okay. So this is how this can be synthesized. Now let us look into the mechanism of this reaction. What happens when this carbanion attacks the aldehyde and what sort of a mechanism the reaction goes through, which is pretty interesting from understanding the mechanistic details. Now, once we have this carbanion and we have this aldehyde, this carbonyl attacks the aldehyde. It leads to the formation of the sulfone. Okay, so what we have here is O minus. So, so what we form is that alpha beta hydroxy. Now, what we need in this case is to convert this O into a good leaving group. This is done via treating this O minus either with methyl chloride or acetic and hydride to convert this OSL derivative or benzoyl chloride. Okay, so you can choose either of the conditions. So let's proceed by acetic and hydride. So what happens when you treat it with acetic and hydride, it leads to the formation of this OSL derivative. And then this entire moiety is subjected to the reductive elimination using sodium amalgam in methanol. Okay. So we know that sodium, it gives one electron in the reaction and it is this reaction, this electron which is responsible for the reductive elimination of this entire moiety and removal of OAC. Now we know that how, what is the easiest way to understand the addition of electron onto the cell phone? This is one of the questions that usually students ask me. So I try to break it. Let us simply just write this entire moiety as such. Okay, can we write this as, this is just to understand, okay. Can we write this double bond like this? This double bond is nothing but a two electrons that are, that are between both these position. Okay, between oxygen and sulfur. And now if an electron comes, since oxygen is more electronegative, this electron is going to add up onto this oxygen. So what we end up getting is this carbonionic, this 
रेडिकल एन आई एन बिकॉज वी हैव अ रेडिकल एंड एन आई एन सो दिस इज एक्जैक्टली वट फॉर्म्स हेयर वंस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एडेड सो दिस इज वट हैपन्स वेन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज एडेड वट वी फॉर्म इज अ रेडिकल एन आई एन हेयर इट इज आर आर एच आर सो ओ ए सी सो दिस इज रेडिकल एन आई एन Since we have formed this, so this can also be written like that. Okay, this can also be written like that. Again, if one electron more is added, then we know this is more electron negative. So this will lead to the formation of O minus O minus. And now we have two electrons here, so this can be written like that. So this is exactly what happens here. If one more electron is added, it leads to the formation of S O minus Na. O minus Na, and we have this phenyl. We have these two electrons here, and then hydrogen. This. So what happens? This negative charge comes back. This goes. So this entire it leaves us pH SO2. Okay. So this just leaves lead to the formation. There's a there's a carbonyl here now. Just okay. Remember this. So we have a carbonyl here, hydrogen. R A C. So this is the carbon. We have this carbonyl here. Now, once this carbonyl is formed, that is where the mechanism of this reaction is decided. Because this carbonyl, this has a lifetime good enough to adopt the low energy intermediate. It must have a lifetime to equilibrate. We to Low energy conformation. Low energy conformation. Okay, and how does it do that? ये किस तरह से ये वाला carbonyl low energy conformation adopt करता है? ये conformation ऐसे adopt करता है कि ये जो carbonyl ये वाला और ये जो OAC group है ये वाला, these two become anti-periplanar to each other. Anti-periplanar. जब ये दोनों के दोनों नेगेटिव चार्ज हो ऐसी एंटी पेली प्लेनर हो जाती है तो ये अडॉप्ट करते हैं लो एनर्जी कॉन्फर्मेशन दूसरी चीज बाय कीपिंग दीज टू बल्क ग्रुप ये जो आर आर ग्रुप होते हैं जब ये एक दोनों के दूर हो जाते हैं दे अडॉप्ट दी लो एनर्जी कॉन्फर्मेशन सो दिस इज हाउ दिस कार्बेनियन डज दैट सो जैसे और जैसे ही ये होता है क्या होता है नेगेटिव चार्ज आपका यहां आता है और ओ लीव कर जाता है सो द एल्काइन दट यू फॉर्म इज trans in nature okay so this is how it forms uh, so this was methyl i guess this was this was methyl this was methyl this was methyl this was methyl so this was methyl so we have a methyl here okay so this is how you end up forming the trans olefin in this case so what was the what is the most important thing in the case of julio olefination now that we have learned from this mechanism is mechanism is is the how the electron is add add on to the sulfones which is what यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ आपको याद होना चाहिए क्योंकि कभी कभी एग्जाम के अंदर यह भी पूछा जाता है मैकेनिज्म आपको दिखा दिया जाता है पूछा जाता है किस तरह से एलिमिनेशन हो रहा है ठीक है दूसरी चीज विच वी लर्न इज दैट वंस दिस एनआईन इज फॉर्म इट इक्वली ब्रिएट इन ऑर्डर टू एडॉप्ट दी लो एनर्जी कॉन्फर्मेशन एंड हाउ इट डज दैट इट एडोप्ट इट डज दैट बाय एडोप्टिंग अ कॉन्फर्मेशन इन विच दिस कार्बेनियन एंड ओ एसी आर एंटी पेरिप्लेनर टू ईच अदर एंड सेकेंडली Keeping the bulkier group apart from each other, जिसकी वजह से क्या होता है कि ये वापस आता है आपका leaving group OAC leave लीव करता है माइनस ओ ए सी एंड इट लीड्स टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिवली ई कंपाउंड ठीक है सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द जूलिया ऑलिफिनेशन दिस इज द ओरिजिनल प्रोटोकॉल ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन लेकिन इसके अंदर प्रॉब्लम क्या है देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन दिस इज दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वंस दिस बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी सल्फोन इज फॉर्म वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द गुड लिविंग ग्रुप एंड देन सब्जेक्ट टू रिड्यूसिंग एलिमिनेशन कंडीशन सो दीज आर द अननेसेसरी स्टेप्स दैट वी आर एडिंग इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द प्योर एल्किस सो कैन वी मॉडिफाइ दिस प्रोसेस सो दैट वी डोंट रिक्वायर्ड टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू अ गुड लिविंग ग्रुप 
in fact can we can can we take a subset which in itself can you know control the stereo uh, selectivity or uh, control the regio selectivity of the entire process yes we can do that so now we are going to look into this particular thing what they do okay so the modification that was done was basically onto the phenyl ring onto this phenyl ring so instead of the phenyl ring what they took was the benz imidazole ring so this is the kind of cell phones that they took means this phenyl ring was replaced by the cell phone now let us imagine let us see what happens r c h o now why do we don't need any of this what happens here jab ye isko attack karta hai now what you have have is this this let us have this methyl r we have formed this o minus and then next to this what we have is this cell phone and then this is what we have okay so now what happens this oxygen it attacks here this is what it forms so this is the mechanism sometime exam mein ye pucha jata hai what is the mechanism of this reaction so please carefully look at this one so it leads to the formation of o minus okay so now what happens once this negative charge comes back okay this goes like that okay just write me let me write this this goes like this once this negative charge comes back this goes like this this comes like this this goes like this okay so what do you form in the reaction is the since these two groups are trans to each other so what we end up getting is the trans olefin and we what we have sub ejected is the minus this one and plus nitrogen okay so these are the two things these are the by product of this reaction okay ye bhi aapko yaad hona chahiye kabhi kabhi ye bhi puch lete hain what are the by product of the reaction okay so that is how you form it apart from that there is one more protocol that is generally used instead of the benzimidazole this is the benzo imidazole just a second benzothiazole sorry benzothiazole this is benzothiazole this is benzothiazole instead of benzothiazole we can also use the tetrazoles so now let's look at one more protocol which is the julia kochinsky protocol so in this case what we use is a tetrazole this is what we use so this is the thiol that we use in this case now let's see how to utilize this particular reaction suppose if i have and i subjected this to a reaction with let us suppose this alcohol c5h11 using diet tpp which is nothing but a mitsnubu reaction so what i'll end up getting is s c5 h11 now this sulfide can be subjected to treatment with mcpb to oxidize this what we end up getting is this sulfone c5 h11 now first treated with lihmdf and then treatment with this aldehyde so what we end up getting is negative charge here and we know in this case what we get is a trans olefin this is the 
specialty of this reaction trans olefin here negative here and on this one c5 h11 so this is the product that we form in this case Where the mechanism is absolutely similar to the case of the benzotriazole so the here also the same olefin is formed here also but what you end up getting is the formation of something like this r let us suppose i am writing as r r dash negative okay and we have this cell phone next to it we have this uh, consider this this carbon nitrogen 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 phenyl okay so this is exactly what happens this comes back this goes like that okay and minus and ph this comes back this goes like that this comes this goes leads to the formation of trans olefin okay and by product is minus so2 plus what is the by product is स्पेस छोटा है कम ऑन माइनस एस ओ टू एन एन पी एच एंड हेयर वी हैव इज ओ माइनस ओके एंड दट ऑलिफिन दैट वी गेट इज अ trans so mechanism is absolutely sim i mean uh, similar to the previous case so these are the two things that you should be absolutely aware of in the case of julia olefination reaction now let us look at one or two examples based on the julia olefination that have been asked in the exams now let us look at this problem which has been asked in net exam june 2016 which is based on julia kolinsky olefination okay very straight forward very easy reaction number one thing since here we are dealing with the sulfon okay so we need no for sure the olefin that will form will be e olefin okay so before going ahead first of all there will be a formation of two kind of olefin first that will form as a reaction as a result of reaction between cho and this sulfon okay the second which is already there in the molecule since we know these reactions are highly regio selective and they do not change the stereochemistry of other olefins that are already present in the molecule so aage badhne se pehle sabse pehle hum dekh lete hain ki ye jo olefin hai iska stereochemistry kya hai okay let us see that so this is 1 2 1 and 2 so this is e olefin so in the product we can see this olefin in whichever case this olefin is e that is going to be the r product and here also in the case of julia olefination we know that the olefin that will form between these and this aldehyde is going to be e so both the olefins should be e and e so in whichever olefin in whichever case both the olefins are e are going to be our product now first of all let us look at option number 3 and 4 in this case these olefins are z one of the olefins are z so we can simply you know say both of these are correct now out of one or two one of them is our desired product okay now let us see now let's see say in the case of the first one let us just try and name uh, number this olefin which is already present so we can clearly say this is 1 2 1 2 so this is what this is z but in our case we always we should end up getting the e olefin so the only option that we are left with is option 2 which is the correct option now let us just try to name it since this olefin is already present in our starting molecule and it does not change now let us just try and number it so this is 1 2 1 2 so this is e and the olefin that we have formed as a result of olefination is also e let us number 1 2 1 2 1 2 
वन टू वन टू ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो ई सो दिस इज दी राइट आंसर सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू अप्रोच दिस क्वेश्चन एब्सोल्यूटली सिंपल द ओनली थिंग डेट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर इज दैट वी एंड गेटिंग ई ऑली फीन सेकेंड थिंग जो शुरू में मैंने मैकेनिज्म बताया ठीक है सो दैट इज अबाउट द जूलियोलिफिनेशन और इसके अंदर एक जन थोड़ा सा एक वेरिएशन होता है कि सेलफोन्स के केस में एक और ऑलिफिनेशन नेम रिएक्शन होता है विच इज कॉल्ड रेम्बर्क बकलुंड रिएक्शन उसके बारे में आपको थोड़ा सा मैं बता देता हूं एक दो एग्जाम्पल लेके सो so, जब भी आपका कोई भी ऑलिफिन होगा इस तरह का लेट अस सपोज वेन एवर वेन एवर यू हैव एन अल्फा यू नो अल्फा हाइड्रोजन हैविंग अ हेलो ग्रुप लाइक क्लोरो ब्रोमो और आयोडो जब भी सल्फोन के बगल में होगा हेलो एंड यू ट्रीट इट विद द बेस वट यू विल ऑलवेज एंड अप गेटिंग इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन एल्कीन ओके बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस कार्बन सो दिस इज वट यू विल एंड अप गेटिंग so this is the product that you will end up getting theek hai so this is called the ramberg buckland buc buck reaction okay so this is the product that you will end up getting now let us just take one or two examples how it happens humko pata hi hai ki base kya karega base yahan se abstract karega isko nikalega so this is what you will form so2 r elimination of so2 will gives you this one now let us take one or two example so now let us look at these two examples so here what we have is this huge cyclic sulfone so we are what we are using is a tertiary butoxide so what i said whenever we have a good leaving group alpha to the sulfone here also this is what we have so what happened tertiary butoxide what it does it abstract this proton okay as result we have a formation of negative charge this comes attacks like that so the product that we end up getting is the alkene here so this is the alkene that we form similarly in this case what we have is a so2 and we are giving this CF two Br two. So what this reaction does? This carries out the alpha bromination. And since we are using a base like KOH, what it does? It abstracts the proton, and again it leads to the formation of olefin. So this is the product that we get in this case is this. So this is also a very very good example of Ramberg Buchland reaction. OBN OBN. Okay. so this is about the julio olefination i hope with the help of this video you are going to solve many many questions based on the julio olefination thanks a lot for watching the video